Don't all the dreams we've seen come true? That's a pretty boy. Anything. American Idol, the iconic singing competition that has captivated audiences for over two decades, once again crowned a deserving winner in its latest season. The talented and charismatic Bryce Leatherwood emerged as the victor, stealing the hearts of millions with his soulful voice and captivating stage presence. Bryce's journey from his humble beginnings to the pinnacle of stardom was a testament to his unwavering passion and rock-solid determination. However, life took an unexpected turn for Bryce Leatherwood after his triumphant win on American Idol. As a country singer with big aspirations, he faced numerous challenges. Despite his undeniable talent, breaking into the competitive music industry requires more than just raw talent. It demands perseverance, resilience, and a stroke of luck. Let's delve deeper into the untold chapters of Bryce Leatherwood's musical journey, where the glimmer of stardom collided with the realities of the industry. Bryce Leatherwood was born on the 4th of February 2000 in Woodstock, Georgia. He was raised in a Christian household and attended Sequoia High School for his early education. From a young age, music has played a significant role in Bryce's life. He credits his father and grandfather as his biggest supporters and the ones who introduced him to the world of music. His grandfather holds a special place in his heart and continues to inspire Bryce on his musical journey. Bryce may be what many call a child prodigy. In his early years, he discovered his passion for music, singing, and playing instruments, particularly the ukulele. When in middle school, he used to perform in multiple talent shows in his school. He even used to sing and play guitar in the events arranged by the community members. Later, Bryce went to study at Georgia Southern University, majoring in business. Even during his college years, he couldn't stay away from music and performing on stage. In fact, he embraced his artistic side even further and started his own band called The Bryce Leatherwood Band. After this, they regularly started getting gigs at bars and clubs, leaving listeners spellbound by his performances. Due to his band, Bryce already became a little well-known in his hometown. To take his career forward and get some exposure, he went to try singing for reality shows. Back in 2019, Bryce tried his luck in the globally famed reality show American Idol. He went there to try his luck as a New Age country singer. While the country crooner did pass a few initial stages, he couldn't crack the audition which was a must to reach the Hollywood round. When his initial attempt on American Idol didn't take him as far as he'd hoped, many would have been disheartened, but not Bryce. Instead, he embraced the opportunity to grow and learn from the experience, determined to chase his dreams. It was this fighting spirit that led him to take a leap of faith and audition for The Voice, a decision that would change his life forever. Little did he know, his life was about to change. It all began with Bryce's blind audition, where he wowed the coaches with his rendition of Conway Twitty's Goodbye Time. Coach Blake Shelton was quick to turn his chair, recognizing the undeniable talent before him. His journey continued into the battle rounds, where he faced off against the Dries, delivering a captivating performance of Brooks and Dunn's Red Dirt Road and securing his advancement in the competition. In the knockout rounds, Bryce turned up the intensity with his rendition of Zac Brown Band's Colder Weather earning thunderous applause from both the coaches and the crowd. As the competition progressed to the top 16, he chose Travis Tritt's I'm Gonna Be Somebody as his powerful performance, showcasing his potential for a successful future in the industry. In the top 13, he displayed his country music prowess with a heartfelt rendition of George Strait's Amarillo by Morning, captivating the audience with his authentic sound. As the competition narrowed down to the top 10, Bryce continued to impress, delivering a chilling performance of Morgan Wallen's Sand in My Boots, showcasing his ability to connect with his fans on a deeper level. As one of the top 8 contestants, Bryce took the stage with Justin Moore's If Heaven Wasn't So Far Away, captivating everyone with his stage presence and undeniable talent. Leatherwood's journey culminated in the live finale, where he gave an emotional performance of Keith Whitley's Don't Close Your Eyes, setting the stage for a climactic finale. During the live finale, Bryce unleashed his star power with a rock-infused rendition of Travis Tritt's Trouble, showcasing his versatility and commanding stage presence. Additionally, Bryce shared the stage with his coach Blake Shelton, delivering a high-energy performance of Hillbilly Bone that had the audience on their feet. After weeks of incredible performances, emotional moments, and fierce competition, Bryce Leatherwood emerged as the Season 22 winner of The Voice. His journey showcased his immense talent, passion for country music, and the ability to connect with the audience. With his victory, his future in the music industry looks bright. After winning season 22 of The Voice, 
Bryce is determined to advance his music career and make a name for himself. His immediate plan is to save enough money to move to Nashville, the heart of the country music industry. Despite being the winner, he's not splurging the prize money on luxuries and instead looking for a few investment opportunities. He believes in the power of thriving off little and staying hungry to achieve more tremendous success. Bryce is excited to pursue his career, inspired by successful country stars from Georgia like Alan Jackson and Luke Bryan, who have left their mark on the music industry. As he embarks on this new chapter, Bryce aims to share the story of his life and introduce the world to his unique sound and mentality. He is eager to become a better songwriter and plans to work on his craft while building connections in Nashville. Although he is yet to release any original music, he has been collaborating with fellow contestant Morgan Miles, who shared their behind-the-scenes studio experience on Twitter. The country singer is supportive of his fellow artists and recently witnessed Miles make her debut at the Opry, a dream that he hopes to fulfill someday himself. His ambitions also include playing at the Grand Ole Opry, a lifelong dream since he first picked up a guitar. He looks forward to the opportunities that lie ahead and is determined to see where his musical journey takes him. In the meantime, he has scheduled a sold-out show at Blake Shelton's Old Red in Tishomingo, Oklahoma, with a second date added due to high demand. The rising country star is ready to embrace the possibilities and make his mark on the music industry. Furthermore, Bryce highlighted one particular moment on The Voice which will always be his cherished memory. It was when Laurie Morgan, a country music icon, reacted positively to his Keith Whitley cover. This encounter further solidified his love for traditional country music and motivated him to continue pursuing his dreams in the industry. Throughout his life, the number 22 has played a notable role for the Georgia native, creating memorable moments along the way. Bryce said, Ever since I was a kid playing ball, I always wanted number 22. So it's crazy. It's almost like the stars aligned. It's mind-blowing. So I mean there's a bigger spirit involved instead of just me. So I'm just very blessed. Coincidentally, Bryce participated in The Voice season 22 at the age of 22 in the year 2022. The number 22 holds a deep personal significance for him, having always been his favorite. He sees its recurring presence as evidence of a bigger spirit being involved in his experience rather than just his individual efforts. This synchronicity has left him in awe and feeling blessed. For many people, birthdays are considered as their own day, but Bryce got an official one especially designated by the Cherokee County Board of Commissioners for his home state of Georgia. They declared the 24th of January 2023 as Bryce Leatherwood Day for bringing glory to Georgia. In addition to accolades and praises, he has signed a lucrative deal with Capitol Records. Since he is the winner of the biggest musical reality show, the expectations are high for his debut album. Apart from his record label endeavors, Bryce's journey after winning The Voice has taken him to remarkable heights. He has performed sold-out shows at Old Red, the iconic bar chain owned by his coach, the renowned Blake Shelton. Looking at his growth, it's no secret that Bryce's journey has only just started. He has the talent, charm, and stage presence to become the next big country music icon. His story serves as a reminder that setbacks are not failures, but rather stepping stones on the path to success.